Kaysen's family rejoiced at his birth. They were sickened and heartbroken by what the baby endured over the first six weeks of his life. My grandson, Kaysen, suffered 19 fractures as a result of child abuse. Kaysen's grandmother, Melinda, asked that we not use her last name. She discovered the abuse and called 911. We'd like to see justice. Uh, that's definitely uh, one thing we'd like to see. Police arrested the baby's father, Colton Johnson. He's charged with battery causing serious bodily injury and neglect. According to police records, Johnson admitted he was too rough with the baby and is taking responsibility. Kaysen is recovering. Very grateful and blessed that, you know, he's a survivor. But there's so many out there that are not survivors. And it's, it's just, it's got to stop. Melinda organized the vigil to remind people that April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month and encourage everyone to be courageous in the struggle to protect children. And encourage everyone to be a voice when you hear a child cry. In a closing prayer, a distraught grandmother asked that everyone do something to save children from torment and abuse. And give them a bright future and a hopeful beginning towards a better world. And Father, I pray that whomever may inflict abuse upon children be brought to justice.